Min is the COE admin who wants to take advantage of the document automation integration with Microsoft Standard Forms. She wants to empower the business users in her organization to automate processes that use the wide variety of standard forms available, such as tax forms, mortgage forms, vehicle registration forms, and more. The integration between document automation and the Microsoft Form Recognizer enables her to build and train a model directly from within document automation, thereby increasing her productivity. She will then be able to use that model to create a learning instance that can be used to extract data from similar standard form documents. Let's see this in action. Min is logged into the Automation 360 control room and clicks Create Model to begin. Creating a model opens up the model creation tool which is integrated with document automation. There is no need to go to a separate Microsoft Standard Forms tool to create the model. Min uses the integrated model creation tool by first creating a project. The project will ultimately extract data from W2 forms, so she will select five W2 documents for training purposes. Since model training can be completed with as few as five samples, this reduces her training time. She then selects the model version as 2.1 since version 3.0 is in preview mode. Once the project is created, all the documents show up in the editor for her to label. Labeling involves creating tags for each field that she wants to extract in the document and mapping the fields in the form to the tags that she creates. Since a minimum of five documents are needed to train a model, once those five documents are labeled, she can train the model. She begins the labeling process by creating tags for each of the fields in the W-2 form. She creates a tag for the employee's social security number, the employer identification number, or EID, a tag for wages, federal income tax, and so on. These are known as the form tags. At the bottom of the W-2 form is a table, and Min adds a table tag, names the tag, and defines the various column fields such as state, employer state ID, state wages, state income tax, and so on. After creating the form tags and table tags, she completes the labeling by mapping the fields in the W-2 form to the tags she created. She does this by clicking on the contents within each field and then clicking on the tag name. As she does this, the field values are auto-populated into the tags. She performs this mapping for both the form tags and the table tags. Since the values are auto-populated, she can easily verify that the field is recognized. She clicks Done when finished with the mapping. This completes the labeling for the first document. She needs to perform the mapping exercise for the remaining four documents. This can be time-consuming, depending on the number of fields that she wants to extract, but is absolutely necessary to properly train the model. She doesn't need to create new tags. She just needs to map the fields in the remaining documents to the tags she already created. After completing the label mapping for all five documents, she can now train the model. She clicks the Train icon, gives the model a name, and then clicks Train. The engine trains the model using the label mappings she provided. The model displays a train result, which also provides an estimated accuracy for each field, as well as an average accuracy for the entire model. She is satisfied with the accuracy of 99%. Document automation enables men to test the model using a test document, so she decides to take advantage of this capability. She selects a test W2 document and runs an analysis on the document. She observes that every field was extracted properly. Now she is ready to consume this model within a document automation learning instance. She clicks Create Learning Instance to begin and proceeds to enter the name and description. She selects Standard Forms as the document type. Note that the provider is the Microsoft Forms Recognizer. She needs to provide a model and she selects the model she just created. She wants to extract all the fields from this model, so she selects all form fields and all table fields. Finally, she clicks Create to create the learning instance. She is now ready to process documents using this learning instance. 
she clicks Process and selects a W-2 document and an output folder into which to deposit the extraction results and then clicks Process Documents to begin the process. The extraction begins. MIN can monitor the status of the extraction at any time. The extraction and subsequent document download into an output folder are orchestrated through a pre-configured RE process which saves MIN valuable time since she does not have to create the extraction and download automations nor the orchestration process herself. Once the extraction and download are complete, a success folder is created which contains the output CSV file which MIN opens up to view the extracted results. All the fields were extracted correctly since integration with best of breed components like Microsoft Form Recognizer ensures a high level of accuracy. This extraction proceeded without human in the loop validation. What would happen if validation was required? To force a validation, MIN changes a validation rule by changing a data type of one of the fields. Normally this data type would be a text string, but MIN changes it to a number. This will force a validation exercise since the extracted data will not match the new validation rule. When MIN updates the learning instance, it will expect a number to be extracted from the W-2. She processes the same W-2 document. The RE process begins with extraction. However, the validation fails because the extracted field was not a number. Now MIN can perform human in the loop validation to correct the error. The control number, A1B2, is not a valid number, but for purposes of passing validation, MIN changes the control number to an actual number and submits the validation. The process automatically continues and she can monitor the status. Upon completion, the extracted results are placed in the success folder and she verifies that the CSV file contains the updated control number. MIN was able to quickly create a model for a standard form and consume it within document automation via end-to-end -end integration with Microsoft Standard Forms and ARI. As a result, she can now empower her business users to quickly configure and automate structured fixed forms and support a variety of use cases with high accuracy.